Friends and family, we gather together in the presence of God to join together this man, this woman, in holy matrimony. Marriage is commended in the scriptures to be honored among all men and is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, thoughtfully, prayerfully, and in the fear of God. Reading from 1 Corinthians, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Hey, baby. Some may find it hard to believe that a girl that fell at by the horns and didn't spill her beer would be the one for me, but I didn't. I knew that this was something special. As the months flew by, this something special turned into this may be the one. As the months turned into years with the trials and joys that we both endured together, it's a little fly that God had made you for me. First off, I want you to know that I love you so much. I have imagined this day for what seems forever, and I can't believe it's finally here. I should be nervous and anxious, but I find myself calm and at peace. I think it's because for the first time in my life, I am genuinely happy. And I promise no matter how tough life gets, I will never give up on us. I'm so thankful for you. You're not just the man of my dreams. You're the man beyond my wildest dreams. I cannot wait to see how sexy and handsome you look in your tuxedo and your freshly groomed, oh so sexy bald head and beard. Now let's do the damn thing. I love you so, so much, Matt Hughes, and I'll see you at the altar. Love, Leah, hashtag your wife. <laughs> You make me want to build a life with you like no one has ever seen. I may never have the house that I wish to give you. I may never have the chance to show you the places that you want to see. I may never be able to shower you in luxurious things. But I'll love you in whatever house we live in. I'll love you wherever life takes us. And I'll love you with everything in me. I've adored you as both my girlfriend and my fiance, and I cannot wait to see what life has in store for me and my wife. Yours always, man. Having pledged your faith in love to one another, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by exchanging rings, acting in the authority vested in me as minister of the gospel, and looking to God for divine sanction, I now pray now to you, husband and wife, in the presence of God and these witnesses. What God has joined together, let no man tear apart. Matthew, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Jacob. So when I first met Matt, I could see the same qualities in him that I could see in you. And I can tell that when you were together that you wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the entire world. <laughs> I see the way Matt smiles at you when you walk into a room, especially today. <laughs> um, a love like that is rare these days and should be protected with everything that you have. Both of you have found your other halves and it shows. Thank you, Leah, for being my person my wonderful best friend. Um, just some words of advice for you both. Always put each other second, uh, put God first, and everything else will follow. Leah, just as Matt is your lobster, you are my ride and die. Um, may your love burn for eternity and outlast us all. Here's to my best friend, Leah and Matt, to your lives together. And I 
had the most fun with you. And from stealing a cab in Vegas to getting drunk on game nights and crying about, I don't even know what, but we cried about something. I probably asked Matt about that. Uh, anyways, that I, that I love you is basically just a given. And I am so happy for you and for your wedding day. It's finally here, we waited so long. And Matt, you're okay too, I guess. I'm just kidding, I love you both. As much as I tried to write a speech, I could not put the words from my heart on paper. So I just wanted to tell you all that I'm very happy for y'all. And I know Reggie said that, you know, y'all were blessed to have friends and family. We are blessed to have y'all. You know, we've been blessed for, you know, three, three years <laughs> with Matthew. And now we get to be blessed with you for many, many more than that. And I just want to say that I love y'all. And, you know, we have prayed that Matthew would find somebody that just completes him and makes him just happy. And that's, that's what we, that's what we got with him. And I told you earlier today, whether you like it or not, you're part of the family. And welcome. <laughs> 